Paragon of the Crucible is our new album. And I think to really understand uh, what it's about thematically, we need to kind of return to the album we put out a few years ago, All Hail the End. Essentially, All Hail the End is about how around the world, all these different cultures with time, all these different civilizations have fallen. You know, they're either overpowered by some force of nature, you know, a famine or warfare, plague or storms. It always seems to end the same way. You know, whether it's the, the Mayans or the Incas or the Babylonians or whatever culture it might be, their society comes apart and their civilization falls. When you look at what's going on as far as uh, cultural conditioning right now, it seems like people are almost brought up in such a way that they'll be like narcissistic sociopaths, and, it, and it's terrifying to me. It's kind of like a, an every man for himself mentality right now that's being nurtured. That's a, a big part lyrically of what's going on with this album. It's, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a warning. And I'm drawing a parallel between some of the songs on All Hail the End with Paragon of the Crucible about how civilization is very fragile and it can come apart very quickly. The theme for Paragon of the Crucible came from the song, The Remnants, on All Hail the End. I was like, if we, if we use that as a basis for an entire record, I think that's going to be an interesting approach. The Remnants is about nature overpowering humanity, like literally like leveling cities, be it a flood or a, a hurricane or a, a, you know, some type of a volcanic eruption or what have you. It seems like whatever humans build is just a matter of time before nature will knock it down. They're one means or another. And I, I thought that that was, you know, that would be kind of an interesting perspective to write, like utilizing different elements and, you know, humans essentially battling them and ultimately losing. You know, and it doesn't mean that, you know, I think that like humanity will ever be uh, erased. And, th and that's a part of this record. You know, there, there's a lot of hope in a song like Through the Flames. It's about like people persevering, banding together and, and making it through an ordeal. Armored Leviathans, you know, the song Under Endless Ice, that's a direct reference to nuclear submarines or in the span of seconds, um, the ventral gates of Doom Beyond, that's about missiles launching out of silos. Boiling the ionosphere, there's a line in there about the birds of prey, you know, cities burning. That, that's ultimately uh, what the album's about. It's about how people in the future would look back at the ruins of our civilization and try to describe what brought that cataclysm. You know, as far as Flynn's guitar work or Murphy's drumming or, or my vocals, I feel like this, this really is like the best of our best. And it's, our, our fans are going to be stoked on it.